Epic Gamers. Epic Gamers! Welcome to a brand new video. And as you can see, I'm drawing a blank. Because I have yet another Berserk Booster Box. This time we are rocking the classics. We have a Berserk Booster Back Volume 1 box. And of course, it's from the same seller as the Volume 5 box. So that means, if you haven't seen the previous video, um, the box is opened. It's not sealed. Uh, the packs are opened as well. But um, everything is still intact. Nothing has been taken out. He did tell me that um, s most of the packs are out of order. So we might get a pack where the rare is right on the front or somewhere in the middle. Um, but that's okay, as long as we can pull some epic rares for my dear epic gamers. So, let's get into it. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, what? Uh, I've noticed that there's a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card here. Ah! Okay, without further ado, guys, uh, let's see if the... So we don't have uh, glare on the packs. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that. That looks sicko mode. Yeah! So, oh, that's, that's two packs. So we have 24 packs to go through. Um, so like I said, it's very much possible that we're going to pull out the cards. And the first card is the rare. Not in this case, luckily. Um, so we have... So this is volume one. And because I also have the starter box and the Toys R Us structure decks or starter decks... I already have a lot of volume one cards, so I probably have a lot of doubles, um, but that's okay because in um, volume one there are a lot of commons and uncommons with amazing art like this one. Uh, so, so it is possible that I'll pull a lot of rares that I already have. Um, but still, there are a lot of commons and uncommons I don't have, like this super sick. Sorry, I don't, I don't know what it is with me, but lately I've really um, started to like the, like the word sick or sicko, you know. But uh, yeah, this is a really cool black card. That, that's the tree. We have another awesome Griffith close-up. That's what I mean, you know, the comments and uncommons from this set are so cool. We have Griffith on the Hill of Swords. Ooh, there's a uh, red rare card that uh, basically features uh, Griffith on the Hill of Swords, which is a really cool card. It's for the green faction, not for the red, um, but that's pretty interesting to me. So, ooh, so that, that's what I mean. So the, this card is out of order and we still have two cards here. So one of these is probably gonna be, or one of how many? Oh, one of three. So one of these is gonna be the rare. So we have another uncommon, another uncommon and the rare. Ooh, it's the, uh, so that's what I meant, that's what I meant. Um, this is also available in the um, Toys R Us uh, starter decks with a gold border. But this is the regular black border for the Serpico rare. And of course, with like with every rare, we're going to sleeve it. I wonder how many uh, foils are going to be in this. I would really love to find out. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> so this is one of those packs. Um, the first card is already the rare. And I actually saw which rare it is. It is none other than the one and only Griffith. Um, that's super cool. Uh, cruel. <laughs> well, he is kind of cruel. Um, but really cool as well. Wow, that's a really nice Griffith card. 8-8, eight, eight. look at that, man. It's overpowered. Oh, yeah. Um, volume 1 also has a lot of cards from the Lost Children arc with Rosine and... My man, the big bug man. Um, so we have the big bug man. Oh, we have these creepy um, bug elves. We have your case protection spell. Guts and the boys. Ooh, look at that. That's what I meant. That's what I meant with the uh, the commons have awesome art. Look at this. Just the common. But look at that artwork, dude. We have the kingdom in ruins. Uh, so that's a red one. We have the lottery. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I almost thought it was uh, Schnoz, but it's one of his friends. Uh, not Schnoz, I guess. 
But this is also really cool. This is a PCAF in like this really different style from the entirety of the rest of Berserk, which is, this is really cool. That's also one I really wanted. But let's leave that rare that was on the front of the pack. So this is a rare from Volume 1 I don't have yet, which is really good. Um, so for the most part, I just want to pull the rares that I don't have yet. Or I haven't pulled yet from the um, starter box and um, st starter decks. So we have this card, which is also in the starter box, which I already had. We have uh, Rikert. We have Griffith coming at you. We have a common Casca with really cool art, but yet again, a cool common. A really cool common. We have the uh, Hawk of Light, or like the Revelation, I guess. We have a really cool, oh, that's a red one, excuse me. Uh, we have this really cool card, which is also in the starter box, but I really like the art. Ooh, we have Rakshas, a really cool uncommon. So um, I believe all of the uh, Neo Band of the Hawk members, like Rakshas, Locus, Grunbelt, are in this set as both uncommons and as rares. And the rare Locus is my chase card. I really want that one. I hope we can pull it. That would make me so fucking hyped. We have the uh, Kelpie, I think this was, right? Yeah, I think so, Kelpie. Uh, uncommon? We have a cannon wall, I think, for the white faction. And then, oh, this, this one was pretty intact. The rare is, ooh, a Guts, which is one of the starter deck cards um, with a gold border. But this, of course, is the black border one, which, in my opinion, is more valuable since you have to pull it from a pack and you're not guaranteed getting it. So we have two green rares, which are also in the starter box, but a gorgeous red rare. Ooh, look at this. Like we keep getting, we keep seeing examples of uh, beautiful common cards. Like we have Guts versus Zod with Griffith and Puck. Just a common, but look how gorgeous it looks. We have, you can go with the mercenary cards. Those are like the starter cards for uh, playing the game. We have Shirke, passing you the weed. This was one of the comments I really wanted. Look how sick that looks. Uh, ooh, and we have the Grasshopper Man. So we got both of those insect comments that I personally really like. Because I love insects. We have Schnoz's friend. We really need to pull Schnoz, guys. Uh, we have the lottery card, so this one is out of order as well. This is an uncommon from uh, the white faction. Ooh, we have Irvine. And the lore with this is so cool because Irvine barely ever speaks, or at least at the time these cards were released, he didn't really speak. So no flavor text, no effect, just a big beater, 4-3, and a rare. Ooh, nice! So this is in the starter box, so I already have this. Look at that, baby. Ooh, we have another Rosine card. Like I said, a lot of Lost Children arc cards in the of, in this set. The Troll. We have Isidro running off with the uh, sausages and the other food. We have one of the Golems. Ooh, we have the Uncommon Locust card. Oh man, please give me that rare Locust card. That's like so, such a sick card. Sick! The lottery card, we have Guts. Nostalgic Guts, as I like to call him. What did I tell you? Beautiful commons and uncommons in this set. Uh, Guts and Casca. And the rare. Yo, sick! It's another Griffith uh, rare. Wow. Um, so, is this going to be a red rare box? That'd be very cool. So Griffith and Zod. And I think this is from um, the encounter on the Hill of Swords where uh, Griffith leaves guts. And um, I'll never betray my dream of pulling a rare card. Ooh, we have the rare in the front again. We have uh, Griffith. Again, another red rare. Uh, we have Griffith. Assembling the new band of the Hawk with Grumbel, I think. That's Saw, that's Locus. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Not the most iconic looking card. I mean, the scene is pretty iconic. I'm gonna sleeve this up real quick. So a lot of red rares, cool, cool. We have Farnese. 
We have the other golems. Oh, this is really cute, actually. Really cool card. We have another one of this. Jesus, we're getting doubles of those gorgeous cards, man. That's uh, Shirke passing the weed. Blowing away the weed. I don't know. Um, we have the Ogre. And the uh, Sylph Hood. Uh, we have this. The uh, Kushan soldiers being slaughtered. We have Zod flying away with Griffith. I'll never betray my dream. We have this card again. We have the Mercenaries for the Red. Ooh, we have Guts versus Rosine as just an uncommon card. Damn. We have the Lottery. We have Guts facing off against another monster. We have the man himself, Zod, the Immortal. Wow, look at that, our first foil, baby! It's the, the the woods. Oh, is that like um, is that from the Lost Children's arc where uh, PCAF goes into the woods or something? I don't know. I don't know really know where this is from. If you know, let me know in the comments below. And this is our uh, common, another one of these. So I have the tournament version of this as well, as you can see in my uh, volume four lot that I got, which is also on YouTube. So yeah, cool. We have a. Um, a foil effect card. However, the, what doesn't look that good is that we still haven't pulled. Jesus Christ! Uh, I mean that we still haven't pulled Schnoz. Another amazing common, and not so amazing common. I don't know what the effect is. Maybe it is amazing. Um, we have this card. It also seems a little unfamiliar with me, or at least the scene that's depicted in it. We have Corcus. Yes, he's back. We have another white faction card, the Archers. We have Rickard helping Guts out of the moat. That's like a Magic the Gathering card, right? Moat. We have some creepy Apostle men about to ravage something, something. We have Farnese kneeling, uh, wanting to join Guts. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I kind of like this because it's like the creepy insect dudes on this art. I like that. So Guts is facing off against all those mutated creepy insect-like pseudo apostles very nice that's our rare and then this is just a common one of the snow demons i think from early in the story so one foil a lot of red rares a lot of griffith uh, love in this box white white green another really cool green one we have puck we have the lights in the trees. We have the man Corcus again. We have Judo looking in, uh, in disbelief at how awesome these cards are. <laughs> we have an uncommon Griffith, a really cool one, a uh, very early Griffith. That's also really nice to have. We have an uncommon, oh, so early Griffith, late Griffith. Nice. And our rare is... Ooh, baby, baby. It's the Locus I was talking about and the number one card I wanted from this set. Uh, one of the famous quotes uh, from Locus is, of course, uh, I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, we have Guts, some soldiers. We have these creepy insect pseudo Apostles. Okay, okay. <clears throat> we have a foil judo. We have judo as a foil. This was available in the starter decks. The Toys R Us. Star Ooh, really cool troll. Have you seen this troll? Uh, we have the lottery card. We have the cannons and another white card. Really nice. So white, green, black, and white. So we have a foil judo. How about that? And I love how mint all these cards are. The, the person I bought these from, uh, same goes with the volume 5 box. Man, he really kept these cards in very good conditions because these are, I mean the sleeves are a little dusty, but don't worry, these aren't sleeves I use for the collection. Uh, I use Dragon Shield inner and outer sleeves to put them in the, before I put them in the binder. So we have a foil judo on his horse. Uh, very nice. I'm st I was I'm still I still get surprised with the uh, with where the packs um, have the rare in the front. We have guts galloping on his horse. We have the rest of the band of the hawk galloping on their horses. We have the lottery card. So we oh, I saw that that was a foil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this to the side, 
and I'm gonna put that foil to the back. All right, welcome back. We have Guts facing off against the Lost Children. Uh, that's a black one. And here we have the Band of the Hawk. The creepy insect pseudo apostles Ricerto, uh, Guts and the Boys. Ooh, a really cool common. Look, this is a common. This could as well just be a rare uh, Griffith. Uh, well, you can have Griffith without Guts, of course. And then I spoiled it for myself a little. We have a black foil card, but which one? Ooh, we have. Um, I forgot the girl's name for a second. Like Rosine's friend, basically, in the Misty Valley. And this. So the Volume 5 box had a lot of character cards as foils. This has a lot of effect cards as foils, but it's a very pretty card. Very serene. If only they knew what was really going on in the Misty Valley. Uh, let's see, is this. Oh, this is the rare. Okay, okay. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I did see it was a black card again, but I'm gonna put it to the end. Because I want to be surprised. We have Rosine, Insect Man number one, Insect Elves. Ooh, we have a, lo a lot of black cards in this pack. We have Casca being afflicted by the Incubus. Uh, we <laughs> well, it's it's still not Schnoz, but they're probably all his friends, I'm guessing. Uh, we have the Lottery card. We have the Ban of the Hawk. And then I think... Oh no, a few more. We have this really cool Serpico. And... Hey, Rosine, what's up? We haven't pulled you yet. So this is the human form, Rosine. A 3-3 three, three black character card. That's nice. Okay, Puck. Oh, this version, I mean, with these eyes. Uh, Rosine. Uh, another Rosine. <gasps> ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Ow! It's schnoz, baby! Oh yeah! I mean, it's a common, but we're gonna sleeve it. Uh, we have the creepy insects. Uh, Judo, gonna go buy this really quick. We have the trolls. The internet trolls. We have uncommon locusts and... Ooh, rare rakshas! Very cool, rare rakshas, baby! And of course, <laughs> yeah, baby, there he is. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -da -da. There is my man Schnoz, baby. Sleeve it up. Oh, yeah, look at him go, Schnoz. Schnoz is in the house. Uh, our pulls are going to be godly from now on. Schnoz officially blessed the box. We have one of the golems, Ban of the Hawk. Ooh. Uh, this is one of those cards I wanted, baby. Yeah, Griffith on the Hill of Swords. There's also a foil version of this as a tournament prize. But I'll take this gladly. Ooh, we have this really cool uh, Griffith card with the with the new Band of the Hawk. Reunited! Sort of. Not really. We have another one of these awesome troll cards. Berserk. We still haven't won yet, right now. We have white, red, and... The man Zod. He's back. He's back, basically. I think the red... Ooh, I thought, almost thought it was a it was a rare in the front again. We have Guts. Ooh, uh, uh, quite a few of those. Insect man, take me by the hand. To the insect land. Wow. A foil Shirke. So, this is available in the Toys R Us deck with the gold border, but I mean, foil shirke, I also have another foil shirke, but this is really cool, we have Guts and Griffith, Guts and Griffith again, we have just Griffith, we have Picaf, and we have the Hawk of Light, the Revelation, and I'm very happy with all these uh, cool comments that I'm pulling, another one of that, the Snowman, the, oh, that's, the wrong pile. We have the Insect Man. <laughs> yes. Whenever we can, we trust in the Insect Man. Oh, that's very quickly one after another. We have a Foil Farnese. Yet again, just like that Shirke over there is a card from the Toys R Us Starter Decks. Um, which is, of course, available in a uh, as a 
uh, gold bordered regular rare. Uh, how many foils did we get? Uh, let me count. Let me. Let me count. Let. Come on. Calm down. Let me count. So one, two, three, four, a five. Five. We have Griffith on the hill. We have Griffith with his pals. We have the. Ma 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 ma. We have, ooh, this is really cool. Guts versus Zod, round one. Uh, no, round two, right? Yeah. We have Griffith. We have the ogre shooting flames out of his nose. Berserk. Zod. Oh, it's a really cool Isidro card, fitting with the theme of the uh, other ones, other green uh, character cards. And, that's yeah, that, this is the rare. Oh. I mean... At least this isn't one of the foils, because, like, what the fuck? Why is that a rare? So we pulled the uh, Kelpie as a rare. <gasps> it's Irvine, baby. Rare Irvine right on the front of the pack. Wasn't able to uh, rearrange it beforehand. I was a bit too quick. Oh, I have to, like, sort the cards. I almost forgot what, what I was supposed to do. I had one job. Um, Isidro, uh, there, uh, Griffith killing the leader of the, uh, Kushan, the general or something, I don't know, we have an uncommon white, and another uncommon white, uh, Corticus, uh, uh, the el little creepy elves, Zod versus Guts, Pippin, okay, okay, all right, all right, Hold up. Uh, again, another uh, rare effect card. So definitely, if you are ever in the market for a for a Berserk booster box, um, definitely get uh, ooh, Griffith. Cool. Uh, definitely get like either Volume One or Volume Five. In my opinion, or Volume Four is also pretty cool. But those are basically, at least to me, the sets with the either the coolest rares. Uh, or the um, best artworks. So we have Judo. We have some soldiers. Um, Zod flying off. Casca, also in the starter box. Farnese. The Golem Boys. Ooh, we have uh, another Zod versus, versus Guts. We have the Lottery and... Oh, that's the Uncommon, okay. And, oh, that's another one. Oh, this pack was actually in order, I think. And, oh, the regular version of the Misty Valley. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, guys, four more packs. What else can we pull? White card, the Sylph Sword. Uh, another cool Grifel. Grifel. We have Guts and the Boys. Ooh, a foil, Griffith and Zod, baby. Well, the foils are coming and they won't stop coming and they won't... Ooh, and a really cool uncommon. Look at that. That's the cover for one of the volumes. Really nice. The whole squad together. Very nice. Three more packs. Oh, I don't want this box to be over. Um, a black card. Ooh, a really cool uncommon with guts on it. Another one of those cool artworks. Guts fighting some souls of the damned. Very do Oh, well, here's our rare, <laughs> I guess. Here's our rare. The um, I'm not sure what this is. Or from what uh, chapter. This is just a bunch of bodies drifting in the lake. We have Flora. Okay. Pippin. Another white card. A red card. The cannons and, of course, the lottery card. We still haven't won anything. We have Rickard, the creepy elf dudes. Lost children. Griffith. Eye to eye with Griffith. We have this card. Really nice. We have the lottery. We have Farnese and Casca being kidnapped by the trolls. Ooh, we have some really cool Apostle artwork. Nice. Not as good as the Apostle artwork from Volume 4. And our rare... Yeah, that's a rare... Oh, it's a foil. It's a... It's a white foil. So it's a very early card in the set. Ooh, a foil Corcus. 
You don't see that very often now, do you? You can build a whole deck around that guy. Last pack, baby. Okay, let's see if the rare... Ooh, the rare is on front. Did you see that? Did you catch that? Ooh, and another uncommon we didn't have yet. The archers, ready to arch. Ooh, the magical spell from Shirke. A Rosine. Another schnoz. All right, schnoz. Welcome to the party, boy. Um, we have Irvine, the uncommon Irvine. And then we have the lottery card. We have the cannons. And then our rare card is a black card. Oh, it's an effect card. Well, okay. Um, oh. Oh, it's the, um, I'm not, I'm not sure what this was called, but it's, um, it's like, when, what is this from? Like, something with the revelation from Griffith or something, or, I'm not really sure, but it's really, it's pretty cool. Black Hole Sun or something, I thought, I saw it on, uh, for sale on, uh, on eBay a while back, and it, the, the, the seller listed it as Black Hole Sun. Of course, we have one of our two schnozzes. The other one is there, schnoz. The Sun, the Misty Valley, Irvine, really cool. The Kelpie, not as cool. Sod, Rakshas, uh, Rosine. We have my man Locus, baby. All right, I mean, that's my favorite one. Um, we have this, we have this, we have this, which you also got as a foil. I got a double of this. Well, how, how about that? We have this really cool Griffith. Close up. Guts, really cool as well. Serpico. We have the rare Corcus, rare judo, or a foil, I mean, foil Corcus, foil judo. Uh, the foil uh, of Guts fighting the insect pseudo apostles. The dark forest. Uh, we have the Misty Valley, we have Farnese Foil, a Shirake Foil, and Zod and Griffith Foil. So, we did pretty well, in my opinion. Uh, let me check how many foils that was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight foils. So, uh, Secret Rares were only available in uh, Volume 4 and 5, so we didn't have a chance to pull a Secret Rare in this. Okay, so... I really hope you enjoyed uh, this opening. If you did, let me know in the comments below. So, I'll see you guys next time. Don't activate any bellets when I'm gone. Okay?